of miles away. Huh? What the hell they want to come to this place? They think of, they're all superior in their minds and everything. Why would they want to come here with earthquakes and volcanoes and all this stuff going on? My Lord. The devil's a lie. He tricked people. He the one responsible for everything going down. And you know what? We know that. That's why we pray and ask God to have mercy on us. And it's around us. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. Let's go to 2 Corinthians, third chapter. Starting at the seventh verse. But if the ministry of death, written and engraven in stones, was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away with, how shall not the ministration of the Spirit of of the Spirit be rather glorious? For the ministration of condemnation be glory, how much more doth the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory? For even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excelleth. For if that which was done away with was glorious was more glory which remained, for if that which is done away with was glorious, much more that which remains is glorious. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. And not as Moses, which put a veil over his faith, that the children of Israel could not steadfast look at the end which is abolished, but their minds were blinded. For unto this day remaineth the same veil and taken away in the regarding of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. But even unto us this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. He sets us free from the powers of Satan that deceives us and makes us do things contrary to the will of God. And we all are subject to that until Jesus comes in our lives. You know, I had to him, oh, I'd never do that. Yes, you would. You let Jesus take your hand, his hand off you. If Jesus took his hand off me right now, I'd be a stark, raving, mad, mad man. That's why I'm always praying, Lord, keep me. Watch over me. That's why I, I'm in it. I, every time y'all get together, I'm going to be here praising them. That long as these legs and this body can get me in. Amen. And, and if I can't get here, I'm going to be on that line. But you know what? I'm going to let him feed me. And keep me strong in his spirit yeah. so that the old man can't come back. Right. And the day he loosed me from him forever, y'all going to know it. Amen. Because I believe that day is coming. Amen. I had a little shout today. I'm going to have a big shout then. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image changed into his image made like him all of a sudden you ain't got that old stony heart you got that heart of flesh you got some kindness that you ain't never had before you got some love for people that never loved you you got some goodness that you know you ain't never had in your body before. That God done sent from above to let you know how much he care about you. And all of a sudden, you got to shake your head where this come from. And you know, Jesus.